hello guys welcome to another video of devops in this video we are going to understand how we can work with ansible and azure pipelines if you have to deploy your ansible playbooks in your virtual machines or any other machines using azure devops pipeline if you have to automate it we will see how those things can be done from the azure pipelines you can use your ansible playbook to deploy in your virtual machines or uh, automate some of the tasks inside your virtual machine using the ansible using azure pipeline okay so if you are new to ansible and you don't know what is ansible uh, this is the documentation we can uh, you can go through with it basically this is just one open source automation uh, tool you can say which you can create the playbooks in yaml and it will help you to automate multiple things in your machines and you can uh, run, even run the playbooks uh, and you can automate things okay so let's go ahead to azure devops and see how we can run the ansible from the azure devops pipeline and how we can integrate ansible with azure devops okay for that uh, before that uh, before creating the ci cd pipeline we have to first go to the azure devops extensions and we'll have to see if we have ansible extension installed or not okay so if you see in the extension list i have this ansible extension installed so make sure uh, if you have to use this ansible you have this extension is installed if not then uh, go to browse marketplace and install the ansible extension first if you search with ansible this is the official one which is by microsoft you have to open it and click on get it free okay once you have clicked it here it will go ahead and give you an option to install inside your organization since i have this already installed in my organization it is not giving me an option if you have azure devops server you can download it from here and you can install it in there manually okay so let's go ahead in my azure devops and try to use this extension which we have just installed okay i'll just uh, go ahead and create one simple pipeline to show you how you can integrate ansible click on new pipeline just to create a new pipeline select your code if you are using yaml pipeline if you have classic you can always use the classic editor and you can always create one classic pipeline but now most of the organization and most of the people use classic version of pipelines that's why we'll be using the classic pipeline as well okay select any of the repository let me select this test edu or okay let me select this test edu repository and select the starter pipeline if you select the starter pipeline some of the things will come come by default like trigger pull steps and other things to use the ansible task just type hyphen and type task search for ansible here if you see this ansible at the rate zero is coming and this is our ansible task you can add it directly you can add other things as well like uh, properties name display name and other conditions if you want and you can add inputs now so input this is the mandatory one you will have to give it if you want to run this task because uh, this will add all the inputs which are needed to run this ansible task okay if you don't want to do add your task like this you can also search 
from this task list search with ansible and it will this task will be shown here okay you can see this task executes an ansible playbook using a specified inventory via command line interface select it and here some of the options you can see you will have to provide the ansible location that is either in your agent machine uh, agent machine means this one this agent pool machine which we are using to run this pipeline okay if you have your ansible installed in this machine select the agent machine else you will have to select the remote machine where you want to uh, install or you want to run your ansible playbook okay if you click on this i you can see select if ansible automation engine is installed on a private linux agent machine or on a remote machine so if ansible is installed in that agent machine or you can say self host agent pool you can select it this one so that it will go ahead and automatically look for ansible inside the agent machine okay but if you don't have it installed here you can directly select the remote machine as well okay and you can select your service connection that is sss service connection for that uh, virtual machine suppose this is inside your virtual machine you will have to create one service connection so that this pipeline will be able to connect uh, with that virtual machine using that sss service connection to create it you will have to go to the project setting and service connections this is the service connections here new service connection and search for ssh so this is the service connection type you'll have to create if you click on it next you'll have to provide all the things like host name that is nothing but ip address or host name of your remote machine port number that should be 22 because we use 22 port for ssh if you are using private key file you can provide it or if you have username or password as uh, login credentials you can supply it here as well finally add the service connection name grant access permission to pipelines and click on save so that one ssh service connection will be created for your remote machine once that is created it will give you option to add it here like this ssh hyphen con is created for me okay so this is okay let it be selected as agent machine okay if you have this remote machine you can select it otherwise you can keep it as default you can install ansible inside your agent machine and make sure this is running if you don't want to do it manually you can also install ansible directly in the pipeline itself you can include one script to install in ansible before this task and first it will go ahead and install ansible inside your agent machine then only it will run this ansible task okay so even if you don't have ansible installed you can use that script to install the ansible first this is best practice because even if some agent is new or if you are running this in your microsoft hosted agent pool in that in that case also uh, pipeline will install ansible by itself you don't need to do anything okay let's go ahead ansible location is agent machine now here you will have to provide the playbook that is nothing but the ansible playbook and the yaml files which should be running inside the remote machine okay inside the uh, virtual machine you can say if you see specify the path to the playbook file to be executed on the ansible machine playbooks declare declare ansible configuration deployment and orchestration steps in yaml format you can provide the yaml path suppose that is inside uh, some directory you can just type something like this suppose this is inside temp folder 
and suppose ansible dot yaml you can provide something like this suppose this is your path uh, ansible this agent machine will uh, look for this playbook inside this path and it will execute that it will run that ansible playbook okay once this is done you can add the inventory where is uh, where is your inventory if you have inventory file you can select this option use default inventory file if you have something else like if you want to provide this inventory in line you can select the inline and you can add the contents here as well okay if you have in some file you can select the file and again you can supply the inventory file inside your uh, machine agent machine so that it will uh, ansible and agent machine will copy those uh, inventory file inside your ansible machine and it, it will go ahead and execute that okay if you have host list you can also add it here with comma separated if you have multiple host list you can add them uh, with comma separated something like this okay after inventory is done if you go to advanced if you want to run the sensible playbook with sudo access you can select this so that uh, this uh, pipeline will run the ansible playbook with sudo access if there are something which uh, for that you require sudo access you will have to select it otherwise you can keep this as default there is some condition the run operation with sudo it works only when the ansible user is sudo with no password option the pipeline uh, would be running with some user right so make sure that user is having this this permission then only it will work otherwise it will go ahead and run with without sudo if you have some additional parameters inside your uh, ansible playbook you can supply it from here okay if you want to fail this task whenever there is some error inside your playbook while running your playbook you can check it so that it will go ahead and fail the pipeline whenever uh, your playbook has been failed okay suppose this azure user is having you are giving uh, you are giving this uh, checking this sudo option and you are giving sudo user as azure user then azure user should have sudo permission then only it will work otherwise it will not work okay so these are some of the things we need to provide if you want to run the ansible playbooks from your azure devops pipeline if you select the remote machine you can uh, also add other things like this if you have like ansible uh, location in remote machine select the ansible ssh point select the playbook as well where is the source if source is, is agent machine it will go ahead and copy your ansible playbooks from your agent machine to the ansible machine if you click on this root i it will say specify the working directory path where playbook and associated files are located on the agent machine okay and here you will have to provide the path if you have this playbook directly inside your ansible machine you can select the ansible machine as well here and you can supply the playbook path from your ansible machine okay suppose uh, this you have inside system dot default working directory uh, dollar so you can provide something like this if your uh, inventory or if your playbook is in this location or current directory you can supply this here and again you can provide your ansible playbook path suppose this is inside temp directory 
you can provide this path something like this so it will go ahead and search for this this file ansible.yaml file inside this temp directory and inside this system.default working directory folder that means current directory okay if this is found it will go ahead and run your permission or run your uh, ansible playbook inside the agent machine if you add it you can see this has added all the settings which we just given you will have to play this property is missing playbook path on agent machine we will have to supply it then only it will work so like this we can add ansible task and we can save and run this pipeline this way you will be able to integrate ansible and run ansible playbooks from the azure pipelines using uh, inside your agent machines or inside your virtual machines or some remote machine okay that's it from this video if you liked it please like and subscribe my channel if you have any feedback or suggestions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching